Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Monster Video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Bounty Hunt update that they didn't really tell you about. So they went ahead and changed something in the Bounty Hunt that um, a lot of, a lot of players actually know about. So today's video, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys. I hope you all like it. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, we're going to get started. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already noticed this, but if you haven't already, I'm actually going to let you guys know in just a second. So this bounty hunt is actually a little bit different than the previous ones. So take a look at this. If we actually head over to the bounty hunt right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and just continue this. You know, whatever. Let's go ahead and collect uh, prismatic and known cells. Um, I think I have like 80 or maybe almost 100 maybe i should be able to actually craft it um i haven't really tried too much in this bounty hunt yet uh obviously i'm not going to be picking up the monster yet um i'm gonna do my analysis on it soon though but anyways so this is one of the bounty hunt fugitives but i believe it's leak 8 if i'm not mistaken the leak 8 bounty hunt uh it might be some of the other fugitives as well but I'm pretty sure the leak 8 one uh the monster actually has uh you know guard down immunity which means that it's gonna make two of the most popular monsters in Bounty Hunt useless now. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to say goodbye to those two monsters. If we actually head over to my team, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the two monsters. One of them being is Gekon, the one of the most popular monsters in Bounty Hunt. This monster has been used for so long. They basically kind of made him useless now. So if you still wanna use him, there's Taunt Hater that you can go ahead and benefit from. But then again, you're gonna have to apply Taunt to the enemy, uh, which he doesn't actually have any skills of. He can't really apply it, Taunt to the enemy. Um, he can only apply Guard Down Hater and then Guard Down, obviously. And then this monster was basically used mainly for his Guard Down Hater. The fact that he can actually uh, give that triple damage uh, boost towards your attacker. So this monster having that, you know what I mean? It made him super, super useful in, in almost every bounty hunt, basically. There's a damage boost. There's also the PR skill. Uh, I believe he actually has. Yep, there it is. And then last but not least, you do have the Guard Down, the actual Guard Down that you actually apply to the enemy. Uh, but this monster, since he, there, another reason why he was used so much is because of talents. So now with these monsters, they don't have talents. They don't have access to talents. Uh, monster Gens just decided to stop releasing talents. Um, but these these talents, if you actually take a look at a Snitch Brad, Snitch Brad is actually one of them. It applies vulnerability and guard down to um, basically damage enemies, which is the League 8 monster or whatever league it is that you're um, basically attacking. So you were able to apply vulnerability and also guard down, which is very important. That way, all the monster has to do is apply the guard down hater right here the boss got a job for you so basically all he had to do was apply that and that's it he you know your attacker gets benefit from it uh free triple damage right there but that's just one of the talents i'm pretty sure there's a, there's another one if i'm not mistaken i believe it's treat this right here yeah treat this so when the turn starts applies guard down to a random enemy so this is just uh when basically the monster gets a turn so the turn starts that's it boom Guard down supplied. So super cool. Um, but basically, uh, thanks to those two talents, uh, you were able to benefit from the guard down hater. But now, even those talents are, you know, useless now. Even the monster itself, the only thing you can really use it for is the taunt hater. If the enemy has taunt, uh, cool, you know, you can apply that, you know, taunt triple damage with the damage boost. And you can run another damage boost with the PER skill if you need that. And that's basically it. Yeah, this monster could be a bit useful. So it's not like completely useless, but it is not as good as it used to be, unfortunately. So that monster you're gonna have to say goodbye to it um, i wouldn't really recommend investing in it anymore to be honest um it's really not worth the gems so another monster though is from metro era as well i'm sure some of you guys actually know who i'm talking about but if you don't let's go ahead and actually mention it i believe i have him on ranked or something oh he's actually rank one and that is don canine so don canine is basically uh one of those metro monsters that was also released and this monster has guard down hater as a skill you can, he can actually apply guard down as well and then you guys get the idea basically he can also carry one of those talents so he, this was like another version of Gekon basically uh this monster being able to you know um uh, removing uh control status effects and also playing guard down hater to ally or to everybody basically removing tortures so it's, it's it was like basically like a denier version of um of Gekon that could also do the same exact thing that he that he does so pretty good monster but unfortunately now not so much so uh another thing he's actually missing is uh the, the taunt hater which uh the other monster has but this one doesn't so this one i would say is completely useless now yeah this monster doesn't even have taunt hater so if the enemy doesn't have taunts you know what i mean um if the, if the enemy has taunts then gakon is a bit useful but if they don't both of them are useless uh and again if the, the monster has taunts 
the fugitive monster um then this monster is just completely dead uh no matter what so yeah 100 percent gone um unfortunately not worth the investment no more i wouldn't really pick it up not this or get con so not really worth it guys um again the team shop i've already given you guys my uh, opinion on this um team shop it's I, I think it's actually pretty decent what do you guys think i think that this time they actually did a decent job like prismatic uh prismatic panda tone is actually pretty good so i would i would actually recommend picking this up another update that they actually made i don't know why it took them so long but i'm not sure if you guys actually noticed take a look at this so for monsters now if you actually want to make purchases on them um you can either just get the <clears throat> 10 cells for 250 you know what i mean just like this or what you can do is save it up so if you could get 1.25k, then you can get 50 cells, boom, just by spending it like that. Or if you want 100 cells, boom, 2.5k coins just like that. So in order to craft the monster straight away, you need 2.5k coins or you can actually just do the bounty hunt, you know, just uh, the way you normally play it out. And if you could get the fine and also the few you know what you might call it the elimination you can basically get yourself a bunch of cells which is super cool so yeah um i'm gonna have to say goodbye to this monster i wish i could just exit it you know normally there's an x you could just tap on it and remove it but yeah we're gonna have to come up with a new team or something guys um unfortunately don cannon and gakon you're gonna have to say goodbye to them especially don cannon um anyways uh yeah so prismatic pentatone is good and like i said this is a little update that they made as well so you can purchase cells it's not just for prismatic pentatone but also these monsters as well although as you see the difference um 2.5k versus 2.2k because this one costs more 250 versus 220 and obviously all these other monsters also cost less the cheapest ones are these two which again zeo not really worth not really the greatest uh this monster is actually good for team wars for defense um but yeah so you can get the ring three version of this monster right now uh through the treasure cave uh one of the people that i actually know they got it for five gems so i'm like is treasure cave still working or are there people like that actually play around the treasure cave now like maybe there's another trick to it so i'm gonna have to figure something out guys and when i do i'll go ahead and let you guys know if you guys know anything let me know share it on discord um and i'll go ahead and test it out obviously and let you guys know so let's see if we end up getting hit with a trap on room three um looks like no traps all right we'll, we'll go ahead and basically move on so looks like the monster's right there i kind of want to go with the five north berry where the five north berry was oh wow we got hit with a trap right there do we want to continue not really let's go ahead and leave and back out obviously we got hit with a trap before room seven not really worth it so i mean i, I would have played it out you know i have 60 gems anyways but yeah not really worth it i'm gonna save this for another video guys where i, hatch, I basically hatched three of the ancestrals but let's go ahead and hatch swift dog though because i do have this monster ready and it is is it only nature oh it's nature and metal so let me see uh, my metal monsters are full so are my natures i believe right so i can't really hatch it anywhere here maybe if i actually move one of these monsters um i'm thinking what if we move this magic one can we actually like move it in near this area nope all of them are actually taken ah oh, that sucks we could probably like work something around that you know what i mean move some someone or something around um but we could just let's just hatch it somewhere random all right swift daga you're gonna be hatched somewhere random this right here this island is where it just have like random monsters actually no this one's kind of kind of wait hold on this one's organized um yeah look we have fire monsters and dark monsters what the heck okay well in that case i'm just gonna hatch it right here near those random element monsters anyways that's <clears throat> 1222 all right cool and we have all of our ancestral habitats also ready so next video guys it's gonna be a crazy one we're gonna be hatching all ancestral monsters um that i have here so make sure to watch that but anyways i just wanted to make this video to update you guys on the bounty hunt update that they didn't really um uh, mention or you know what i mean bother telling anybody so i hope this video was helpful and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe anyways i'll see you guys next one peace out